What happens after every general election? Because everybody is focused now on uh, the upcoming elections. Everybody is focused on what's going to happen uh, before those elections and during those elections. But let's cast our minds. What normally happens immediately after the elections? And I'm not even talking about 2007. What happened after the elections in uh, 2013, for example? What normally tends to happen is that there are a lot of assassinations, political assassinations. Just go back and observe uh, uh, casually, uh, and you will notice that uh, this is true. After every elections, there are normally some very prominent uh, killings, or shall we say uh, deaths, which sometimes are unexplained, sometimes they're shrouded in mystery, uh, sometimes we get all sorts of funny stories uh, or strange stories about these deaths. Let's take an example from what happened after the 2013 elections. That's the last elections uh, Kenyans went into. You'll remember the late Senator... Uh, you'll remember the late Senator Mutula Kilonzo. He died immediately or shortly after the 2013 uh, general elections. Now, to date, if you ask most Kenyans what happened to Mtola Kilonzo, uh, most of them will laugh or smile or uh, look a bit uncomfortable. But uh, if, if you really probe them, they'll tell you that uh, they believe that the late senator died from an overdose of Viagra. We all know what Viagra is. Viagra, of course, is a male-enhancing uh, pill which people pop up to deal with something called erectile, erectile dysfunction in men, to make men perform. Um, and that is a general belief amongst Kenyans. And that is why it would be of great interest to you if you still don't know what happened to the late senator and why he died. It would be very useful for you to read a book I've written, which is called uh, Why Mtula Was Murdered. It has all the details. In my view, and I believe it will also be a view after reading this book, you will realize that this is the most high-tech political assassination that has ever happened in Kenya. It was so high-tech that had the family not taken the extra trouble and the great expense of hiring a foreign uh, uh, doctor or a foreign person to do the postmortem, to assist to the postmortem, the truth would never have come to light. Yeah? Actually, the Mutula Kilozo family hired a pathologist from uh, the UK. And even more important, they had a pathologist whose specialization is sudden deaths. Kifos Chagafla. That's what the guy specializes in. And uh, he, was very, he was able to get some evidence which was absolutely shocking. I reveal all this in the book, and I reveal exactly how the late senator died, the cover-up uh, that uh, even some members of the family got involved in to avoid embarrassment, uh, because there was actually a woman in the house uh, when the late senator started showing signs of uh, um, serious signs uh, of dying. There was actually a woman in the house. So uh, it's very easy to get this book. I think all you have to do is uh, become a member of my club, 1999. It's very easy. Uh, and once you become a cl member of my club, 1999, you'll not only be able to receive inside information about what's going on with the current political situation, but you'll also be able to get access to this amazing special report I did on Mutula Kilonzo. And your eyes will be opened. You'll understand a lot of things. Uh, you'll also be able to know what is going on currently. Uh, forget the opinion polls you're hearing at all, so-and-so is on the lead, so-and-so is on the lead. I cut to the chase, and I, you know, because this is Kenya, this is not the United States. A lot of people uh, try and uh, import foreign things into Kenya, and then they try and use those things to analyze our politics. It cannot work, because Kenyan politics is totally different from what we see in the West. No matter how much you want to be the next uh, United States of America, no matter how much you want to be the next uh, United Kingdom, the truth of the matter on the ground is that people vote tribally, people vote as blocks in tribes, 
And uh, these are facts you cannot run away from. And so if you want proper analysis of what's going on, even uh, backroom deals which are being done, because this election is normally decided on backroom deals that are, on, are, are ongoing even now as you listen to this. So you'll be able to get all of it uh, by being a member of Club uh, 1999. Being a member of Club 1999 is very easy. All you have to do is um, you can send an SMS to the number you see on the screen now. Or even uh, better, just uh, write an email to the email address you see there. You miss this at gmail.com. You will get an immediate response of how you can go about uh, becoming a member of this club. We'll be able to receive daily analysis, daily daily analysis of uh, actually what's going on. Because there's so much news coming out, it's very easy to get confused and not know exactly the situation. So if you want to stay ahead and know exactly what's happening, Club 1999 is for you. Of course, this is Chris Kumekucha. I have a lot of experience in Kenyan politics. And um, you should be able to benefit very easily from this because you'll be able to know what's happening You'll be able to benefit from my years of experience in politics. This is Chris Kumekucha. Thank you very much. Till next time, uh, you can subscribe to this channel so that you never miss any of uh, uh, my videos or audios with uh, uh, pictures uh, so that we're always in touch. Thank you very much. Till the next video. Bye.